Let us go to the Zoom machine and say hello to my old friend, Alistair Overeem, who's a little tardy, I must say. There he is. Alistair, what do you think this is? I mean, we're waiting for you 10 minutes here. Uh, what do you think? We don't, we don't work um, overtime. My battery died. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good excuse. That's a good that excuse. That is a legit 21st century excuse. Come on now. My better dad. Okay. That's fair. So I had to run in this, uh, this falafel place to get a cable. I had a battery. I just didn't have a cable. Oh, it's all right. Well, it's, what, Alistair, I wish I could hug you right now. It's wonderful to see you. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Although I feel like you're happy to see me, though you may be frozen right now. So your battery may have uh, failed on you. Are you still there, Alistair? It's a lovely shot of Alistair. I mean, look at that noggin. Smiling. Appears to be in a great mood. Anyway, so back to Marab. Um, Ariel? Yes, I hear you. <laughs> you hear me? I hear you. Yeah, you... we made it. Okay, there you are. Alistair, good to see I wanted to say, it. it's great to see you, and happy belated birthday, Alistair. Goodbye, 30. Hello, 42. Still waiting on that. Still waiting on that IP, iPad 25 years later. You are late, sir, because it was the 17th. Yeah. As I'm not mistaken, it is June. It's two weeks too late. That is true. But, you know, I'll never forget your birthday. One of the uh, the best days of the calendar year for me. A moment that I will never forget. You, the birthday king. Remember what you said? Goodbye 20. Hello 30. I think uh, we made uh, some good ratings, right? We did. We did. We've had a good run, Alistair. Um... <laughs> it was a positive uh, opinion. Yes. Uh, so yes. It's busy lately. There's stuff happening. There's a lot happening. Okay, Alistair, last time I spoke to you, uh, we had a great conversation. However, you had some not so flattering things to say about the world of pro wrestling. We don't need to get into those comments too much. And then fast forward a few months, I find out that you're a pro wrestler now. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, <laughs> the phone rang just as it's ringing uh, <laughs> just now. No, but, um, you know, there, there's, there's, it's kind of, it's life is interesting. Let me put it that way. Right. Cause on the one hand, uh, you're like, ah, yeah, talking smack. And then before you know it, you're doing it yourself. <laughs> um, I've, 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 yes. No, I'm enjoying this. Please continue. <laughs> oh, I was just, uh, I thought you want to say something, but, um, yeah. I can say good things and can talk bad things about, about the wrestling. But um, um, yeah, not, not not too good, big a fan of, of it lately. But again, you know, in the defense, in my defense, huge fan in the, in the what was it, 80s. I was 8 or 9 or 10, 11, 12. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's been going up and down. And now it's going up again. You know, I was also, um, to, to remind you, not too flattering about kickboxing, guys. Okay, I'm kickboxing now. I was kickboxing 10 years ago. I was kickboxing 25 years ago. So that's a little bit the up and down thing, right? Right. So are you training in pro wrestling right now? Yes. Wow. How's that going? Yes. You need you need to do, you need to try you need to do it. Otherwise, it's not gonna. Sure. It's not gonna be too good because it's good. And of co of course, the the the, the MMA background helps because you're used to falling and used to doing all the moves. But this is a little bit different. Then uh, hats off to the guys, right? Because it definitely. So, um, yeah. And so uh, it, it probably helps you that this has been postponed. It was supposed to be this weekend. They now moved it to July 9th. A little more time for you to train, right? Yeah, but I was ready. I don't know, I'm, I'm confident in my abilities. You know, um, as an athlete, as a fighter, and then I, I don't know. I just, I just somehow have the ability. If I if I put my mind to it, I will. Uh, yeah, I will just uh, kick some ass. I love it. Now that you know the guy that you're going up against, uh, former WWE star Braun Strowman, now known as Adam. Sh That's a big boy. Have you seen him? He's gigantic. He is huge. Yes. He is huge. Yeah, he is huge. I I was impressed when I uh, you know we're we're gonna meet soon in the ring and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be less friendly. I can tell you that. But um. Yeah, uh, you know, what I say, right? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's right. I Come up. I have a track record of doing that to people, so. You think you'll pick him up, slam him? That would be nice. That would be nice. That would be nice. That would be nice. <laughs> now, is this a, a one-off for you, or are you going to be doing a bunch of dates for this uh, wrestling organization? So, so, um... 
this is, I'm starting easy, right? And I'm seeing how it goes. So I, I'm not going to talk too much. I'm not going to promise too much. Let's just see how this goes. Okay. I don't know. I've, I've always been conservative, right? With all the, throughout my fight career. Uh, every time I wasn't conservative, conservative, I was talking too much smack. I always regretted it later. So I'm like, you know what? Let me be a little bit conservative later. Can I, can I give you a piece of advice though? Actually, you know, it'd be great. If I show up as your, I could be your manager. I could be your mouthpiece. And you and I together, we crap all over wrestling. We say, this is garbage. This is fake. You don't know what a real fighter is. This is a real fighter. This is the strike force heavyweight champ, the dream heavyweight champ, the K1. All you people bow down to him. You are peasants. You have nothing on this man. He eats you for breakfast. First meal, second meal, third meal, fourth meal. He eats you and horse meat in once. I could do that for you. I could put you over, Alistair. Would you, would you mean that? Of course. What do you mean, would I mean that? Is everything okay? Are you having a fight? What's going on? I got your back. No, no, no. I just had to communicate something with somebody. Oh, One okay. second. That was that. Okay. Uh, and you know what you said? <laughs> I have no idea what you no, said. No, but it's, it's... You didn't know what I said. Mm -mm. No, you did not. No. <laughs> no, but it's... it's, it's um. You know, I'm, it's it's a new avenue. I, I'm to be honest, I'm excited. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't do it. That's just how similar it is. Um, I think it can break some bones, and that's yeah, that's my plan. Break some bones. Nice, good pay. Break some bones, and we'll see, we'll see a little bit where this avenue takes me because, um, again, don't like to talk too much. For me, it's a new step. It's a new. That was the same with the butter high fight. I was not gonna scream off of the roof. So I'm gonna go for the title. No. The butter fight came, the butter one fight. It was an exciting fight. I uh, took him apart. I did promise if I beat him, I will challenge the the, cha the K1 champ that was Remy at the time. <clears throat> well, that performance ultimately led me to be invited into the Grand Prix, and then I got a hold of it, and then I went for it, mm -hmm. right? But it was just, it went wins, it wins in stages, it went in steps. So this is a new avenue for me. Um, to be honest, I don't know, right? But at the same time, I don't know. So it's a, it's a careful I don't know, and it's an optimistic I don't know. I love it. I love it. Okay, now let's talk about Glory for a second. What happened? I was so excited. This Rico fight, it was, I mean, the, 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 the two greatest ever, two legends, heavyweight icons clashing. Why did it come to fruition? Well, I had a back injury, and oh. it was kind of a severe one. I had it um, twice before, 2000 and. Every 10 years. So <laughs> I had it in 2001, then I had it again in 2012, or 2013 actually it was, and then I had it again uh, yeah, now. Okay. So uh, it requires a lot of care, a lot of, you know, stretching, a lot of a lot of treatments, that kind of stuff, and then slowly it gradually gets better. Um, it, it gives me time to reflect on life and on, 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 on health, and actually gives me time to upgrade, right? Upgrade in all the fields. So... I've been doing just that. Um, I did continue to train, and there was a period that I couldn't train, but I'm I'm training in steady. There's 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 progress. Um, yeah, and now I'm I'm ready to fight. And then the fight got announced now for October. Could have been September. Could have been August. Right? It could have even been July. Even could, even could have been June, but it, it turned out to be uh, October. And um, enthusiastic about that. The the, the Robert Mansfield trilogy fight with Butter. Um, that is going to be a big fight in, in, in the world of kickboxing. It's going to be a big fight for the Netherlands. Um, you know, when I, when I beat Bader the first, and when I fought him second, both times when I fought him, it was in a big stadium. It's 40,000 people, or what is 45,000 people's so your audience. Very enthusiastic about the fact that the glory is putting on that amount of people in the show in Holland. So it's going to be huge. It's going to be like uh, 35 or 40,000 people, big soccer stadium. Media is going to be all over it. So for me, that's uh, these are the challenges that excite me. This is exactly um, how I see it for myself. Not it's in my home country, Netherlands, but it's 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 a home match, and everybody will be there. And it's the press, it's the media. It's yeah, will be the talk of the day. So I'm 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 very excited about it. Was there any talk? And uh, yes. Uh, a lot at stake because Bother is basically in the winter of his career. I'm in the winter of my career. Uh, one of us is going to take a step down, right? One of us is going to take a severe step down. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a little bit egomaniac. I'm a little bit egomaniac. So it's, 
<laughs> we both do not want it to be that step down. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be something. Was there any talk of just rebooking the Rico fight? No, he's going to come back. Yes, Al. Yes, Alistair. How are you? Yes, I'm good. All okay, right. there we go. Let's finish up. Yeah, let's finish up. Um, so so I, the question was, was there any talk of rebooking the Rico fight? And I think you said he's filming a movie, so maybe if all goes well in this fight, then you go ahead and, and uh, rebook that one? Because I, I feel like I want to see that one. I don't want that one to go away. I, I want to see that fight as well. Um, I think that's that's a fight to do. To be honest, uh, I was not necessarily really looking for the butter fight. He insisted, and then it was me who said, okay, well, let's go then. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. Part of my French. No. Um, so that's where the butter fight came from. Yeah. Okay. So, but then, then Rick is going to be the goal after. That's that's uh, my, uh, my um, um, goal. So butter first, Rico after. Are we officially done with MMA? I mean, you got the wrestling, you got the kickboxing. Is this it? Absolutely not. Hmm. Might do one more, or maybe two. No, no, might might be one. Might be one. We'll see. We'll see what what what, what comes about. Uh, but you know, the the the, the calendar's books. We got the the butter, and then we got the Rico after uh, potentially. So then, uh, yeah. So then it'll be next year, and then, and then we'll see. Are you talking to anyone in particular? No. No one. Anyone you have your eye on? Well, there were, there were some talks, but I'm not going to throw that out in the open uh, just uh, just yet. Fedor, let's go. Um, Fedor. Yeah. Respect to Fedor, but he has not fought in a couple of years. I don't think that would really be, I don't know. I've been working on my compassion lately. And I think that, uh, that, uh, that, 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 yeah, you know, challenging a man who has not fought for several years. I don't really think that's a good thing to do. Alistair. I even felt a little bit uh, bad for Butler because yeah, he, you know, his last victory was 2015. Sure. With you know, respect. You know I love right, you, so. and out of respect, I don't want to correct you, but your last fight was February of 2021. Fader's last fight was October of 2021. He has fought more recently than you. Fader fought more recently than me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> he fought like seven I months have... ago. <laughs> okay, let's go, Fader. Where are you at? Let's Send go. Where are you at? Send this location. Oh, there's going to be a little issue with the Russian visas uh, as of late, I believe. Yes. So, but, but, you know, again, not a fight I would particularly look for. And even the brother fight. In the beginning, not a fight I would look for, but the closer it gets, the more it becomes a, a thing, you know. And I'm actually getting really enthusiastic about it. I love so, it. Yeah. But it, it could actually also happen with the fatal fight. Initially, not something I would really look for, but then, yeah, I don't know. You know, the hype, the, it kind of speeds up. People start talking, and it's like, hey, this is pretty cool, actually. Let's go. And uh, as you as you turn 42 now, like, uh, you know, I know you had the back issue. The body over, uh, overall, is it, is it holding up? You feel like you're in good shape? You're mixing the two and the four. <laughs> the four and the two, the two and the four. Yes, yes. You feeling yeah, good, though? The body is good. It's, it, was just that, it was just that injury. That injury was a pain in the butt, and uh, again, a lot of a lot of maintenance there. Um, but feeling good and kicking ass in the gym. Shape is good, strength is good, everything is good. So now we just need to keep it that way, and then uh, yeah, finish up, and then that'll be the end of that. And family is good. So you're still not changing diapers, but the family is good. Uh -huh, yeah, free girls, free daughters. Lovely daughters. Uh, they're, they're awesome. So I'm doing rehab in Netherlands, so I'm actually seeing them uh, a lot. You know, usually before it would have been kind of 50-50 because it would be more in the States, right? Uh, more in camp, more. And now it's, yeah, now it's a little bit more. Everything is more, yeah, back here. So it's, 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 I'm actually enjoying Netherlands. Summertime is the best here. Food is great. People are awesome. So uh, And actually Europe because I've been in Ger uh, Germany. I mean, you know, Spain is, is cool. Italy is cool. Croatia is super cool. Second second home, feels like. 
uh, but even Poland, a lot of fans there. I'm going to head over there in two weeks to doing a bunch of seminars. So yeah, just keeping busy, uh, keeping alive. And uh, before I let you go, you know, any how do you feel about the UFC? I mean, it kind of ended. I feel unceremoniously over there. Any hard feelings? How are you feeling towards them? I think UFC is an awesome organization. Um, they've always been good to me. They have not really been nice to me, but they've been good to me. They've been proper to me. And um, I think they're they're a really professional organization that is making the best decisions for the sport. And that's exactly how they should operate. What do you mean they haven't been nice to you? Well, in the end, they have not been nice to me, right? Right, 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 right. In the end, it could, could have been a hug. Yeah, at least a at least a, a video package or something, right? A rose, something. Uh, uh, yeah, and, no, but it's but it, but it's it's all good. I, you know, even that. This is a corporation, right? And when, once you're dealing with a corporation, or it has a corporate feel. Let me put it that way. Then it and it, yeah, the, the human aspect kind of goes a little bit down or goes away, or, you know, a little slide away, and that's just how it goes. But. They had to make their decisions to grow the to grow the sport and uh, grow grow the company and um, you know they're they're the the most successful fight company in the world. So yeah, you watch. I've had a, a lovely ten years ten years with them. I've had ups. I've had downs. And you, then it came to an end. And yeah, do you keep up with the product? Do you watch it or no? Uh, the big fights, yes. The beginning fights, no. You know, when I was in camp, I would watch everything. Yeah. But now, yeah, the beginning fights, no, I don't really bother. But then the, the, the names are always cool. Like, the names always excite me. I'm always, yeah, the big names are always cool. Okay. So in conclusion, to recap, uh, we're wrestling on July 9th. If you need my help, let me know. I'm happy to help you out. No problem. Free of charge. And uh, we're... That's what a great idea. Yeah, I, I mean, you said it, not me. Uh, and then October 8th, the big trilogy against Badahari back in the Netherlands, Glory Collision 4. And if you win that one, we're going to get the Rico fight maybe next year, early next year or something like that. That's the plan. That's the hope. And we're not done with MMA. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not slamming the door shut. Uh, and then Rico, yeah, Rico should be January, January, February. If, uh, if he's not doing another um, beauty pageant thing, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I love it. Uh, Alistair. Definitely on my list. We, now we have this healthy rivalry here in the Netherlands. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he's, 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 you know, he's done a nice job. You know, I'm not going to say a great job, but he's done a nice job. I'm not going to say bad. He's done a nice job for himself. And, uh, yeah, now um, that fight just needs to happen. There was some words back and forth. I am even curious about that fight. Right? So, yeah. Who do you dislike more, him or Butter? Um, well, both are not my friends. Both are, 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 are yeah, they're, they're different personalities. I mean, yeah, what is it? Is this like a psychological uh, evaluation thing? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Valeration, with Hawaii. Yes. Um, you just want to leave it at that? It's going to be fun. Final, right. final, final challenges. Well, it's always lovely to talk to you, Alistair. I wish I could see your face more in this interview, but we got to see it enough. Uh, welcome back into the mix. We missed you the last few months. Yeah. Congrats on the wrestling yeah. deal. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to beat up butter. I'm going to do this wrestling thing, slam somebody, and then I'm going to come uh, come visit you. Oh. How's that? In studio? How's that? In studio. Let's go. You're always welcome here, Alistair. New York City, we love you here. Sounds like a plan. Let's, uh, let's get this done. All right. So, uh, but let me put up some people and get my, get my, get my thing together, and then, uh, and then you will hear from me, sir. So. Okay. Much love, Alistair. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for doing this. Okay, bye-bye. There he is, the demolition man, the Reem, Alistair Overeem. Always great to talk to him.